Whoo boy, gonna be one of those confusing ones. What's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is The Black Link, and we are back today to talk about a, a bit of an ongoing conversation within the Destiny 2 community. A lot of you will know a week or so ago I put out a video giving my completely calm and measured thoughts about the Masterwork Core economy and the addition of Masterwork Cores as a requirement for infusion within Destiny 2 Forsaken. You all will know I'm none too fond of that decision and I went on a pretty long rant talking about it in that video. Well, it's been a big issue since Forsaken came out and we finally got some clarification on Masterworks as an infusion requirement as well as its own economy within Destiny 2 from Bungie in this week's This Week at Bungie. And for the most part, I thought it was a pretty good response. You know, they, they, they talked a bit about some of the big issues there being uh, the cost of infusion, uh, the, the relatively small amount of sources we have for Masterwork Cores out there. And as I was reading through this week's TWAB, I initially thought, all right, this is about as decent a response as we're probably going to get from Bungie. But now I've had a little bit more time to sit back and think about it, and now I'm kind of mad. <laughs> because, as I mentioned in my coverage of the TWAB for this week, I, I do believe Bungie's response was kind of either sidestepping the greater issue at hand here with Masterworks being a requirement for infusion, or it might just be a fundamental misunderstanding of the message that, you know, certain individuals in the community, myself included, are putting out about Masterwork cores. So I just want to take a little bit of time to make another video kind of responding to what Bungie, uh, what Bungie has responded to when it comes to the issues here with Masterwork Cores. So let's go ahead and take a look at the TWAB and, and review what they said about Masterwork Cores for Infusion. They talked a bit about their goals for Masterwork Cores. They added in Masterwork Cores as a requirement for Infusion because they wanted to make Infusing and Masterworking a meaningful choice, which is on its own uh, understandable in a way. You do want Masterworking items, which was, you know, an in-game sort of thing back before Forsaken came out. You took the weapons that you really enjoyed using and pumped those Masterworks in it so that you could get the orb generation and the kill tracker and all that kind of stuff. It was to make your weapon special, so I can very much understand. And with the way Masterworks have been streamlined in Forsaken with the stat bonuses and all that kind of stuff, I can definitely see what they mean by it being a meaningful choice. I do not agree that infusion should be any part of that equation because infusion of weapons and armor as they are now within Destiny isn't really a form of progression. You're not getting stronger with infusion. I saw a lot of people, even on the previous rant video, talking about it like, oh, well, you know, if you want to be able to progress with power in this game, you need to put in that time to grind. Grind out those masterwork cores. What some of those individuals aren't really understanding is that when you're infusing something, you're not actually progressing or anything. You've already got the gear that makes you stronger. You know, you've already got that 379 10 paces that you hate because it's got a terrible roll and it doesn't feel good. You've already got that boost to your light. What you're doing is saying, oh, I've got this gun I don't want to use. Here's this gun I absolutely love. It's my perfectly rolled better devils that I absolutely adore using. I would rather use the gun that I'm having fun with than this terrible 10 paces that I've got. There's no progression of power there. All you're doing is saying, I'm going to actually take the gun I want to use and make it viable for in-game. That's not a progression, or at least certainly not a meaningful progression like what Bungie is advocating for here. Remember, infusion is all about using the weapons and armor that you like. And I feel like the addition of Master Records as a requirement for infusion is literally just an artificial time gate to prevent you not from getting more powerful. You're still getting more powerful as you're getting drops again. It's just a time gate that prevents you from using the gear that you want. And that's not fun in a game like Destiny 2. But anyways, let's move on with Bungie's response here. Because they go on to mention what they see as the problem with Masterwork Cores. And I don't quite think that what they're seeing as the issue here and what a lot of the player base is seeing as the issue here are kind of lining up. So here's what they had to say. Problems with the current Masterwork Core economy are thus. Masterwork Cores have a misleading name. When they were created, the definition of a pinnacle item put the emphasis almost entirely on masterworking. We expanded that definition in Forsaken, but didn't update the currency. There are not enough reliable sources to earn masterwork cores, which can make deciding what to spend them on too difficult. And their plans for addressing this moving forward are to change the name of masterwork cores to something else, and of course, to add more sources of masterwork cores to the base game. Now, I spoke a bit about this on the TWAP video, 
but I really see this again as either a really odd dodge of the real issue here, or a fundamental misunderstanding of what it is a lot of players are saying. The name Masterwork Core is not the problem here. It's not the name of the item that's making Masterwork Cores a frustrating thing for a lot of players within Destiny 2. It's the fact that players don't really want them as a requirement, at least a lot of players, especially new players to the game and players who don't have a lot of time to spend grinding out for these sorts of things. A lot of people don't really see a reason to have Masterwork Cores as a requirement for Legendary Infusions. Again, I said in my other rant video, I would be fine if masterwork cores were required for exotics because again that's a big different that's a whole different thing but for legendary weapons and armor i really don't feel like masterwork cores should be involved in that equation at all and i'd say a lot of players agree with me certainly there are players who think that it's fine who think that masterwork cores is a requirement for infusion or it's a perfectly fine system and i'm not here to invalidate your opinion but when I see this response from Bungie, focusing so much on the name Masterwork Core, that really seems like like some, some wires are getting mixed up here. So I wanted to put out a very clear message, at least from my opinion. You're on my channel, so you're probably going to get my opinion when you're watching my videos. That's not the issue. I'm saying loud and clear. The problem is, I personally and a lot of other players do not want Masterworks to have any part of the infusion system. I think if you take Masterwork Cores out, the, ins the infusion system as it is is just fine, with the high cost for glimmer, the planetary materials, all that kind of stuff. But Masterwork Cores as they currently are, are simply a time gate. It's not a meaningful chase or a grind right now. It's just something that's locking out a large majority of players from being able to utilize the gear that they want. And that doesn't feel good for really anybody trying to play the game, especially again for people who don't have a lot of time to play Destiny 2, because there currently aren't anywhere near enough sources for Masterwork Cores to even justify a system like this. And even if there were, because that again is something that Bungie says they're going to address here. We don't know how exactly they're going to address this. We're probably going to get some bounties or something maybe with the Gunsmith uh, to help you get more Masterwork Cores. But even then... That doesn't really address the core issue that this is just time-gating you, not from getting the meaningful grind of becoming more powerful within the game, but simply from looking the way you want to look or using the weapons that you want to use when you're playing. Masterworking a weapon, you know, getting that thing to masterwork level 10. That's the grind, you know, that's the thing where you're taking a weapon, you're making it special, you're proving that all of your hard work, all of your grinding is going to use by making this weapon a full masterwork, giving it those maximum stat benefits, you know, the orb generation, the kill tracker, all that kind of stuff. That's making your weapon special. That's something that's worth grinding for. And I think bumping up the number of sources we have for masterwork cores out there for that purpose is a great idea. But I feel like Bungie has to know that the name Masterwork Core is not the issue here. It's not a problem with the name of the item. It is the fact that it is probably an entirely unnecessary aspect of current infusion mechanics for legendary gear that I really hope Bungie understands here. Like I said before, their response was kind of concerning. I don't want them to focus on the wrong thing here when it comes to Masterwork Cores. It's not the name that doesn't have to change to whatever it is they're planning on changing it to. Uncommon Cores, Crazy Cores, Infusa Cores, or whatever it is they're planning on changing the name to. That's not the issue. They can stay Masterwork Cores. Just remove them from Infusion. That's all I'm saying. And as I've no doubt made clear here, I think there are a lot of reasons for that. Even when it comes down to the purpose of making infusing meaningful, a meaningful choice amongst players, that's something that's on the player, not really on the economy. You choose what's meaningful for you. You choose the weapons and armor that you truly love above all the others that you want to infuse. Adding Masterwork Cores as a requirement, even if they do bump up the number of sources that you have for them so that you're getting far more Masterwork Cores than you currently are. Even then, what's going to happen? People who play the game a lot are just going to farm up a bunch of Masterwork Cores and it's still not going to be the meaningful choice that, uh, that Bungie is trying to shoot for here. That meaningful choice is already made for people who pick the weapons and armor that they want to utilize. And then it becomes an even more meaningful choice when they decide to take those extra Masterwork Cores and shove them into that weapon to turn them into a level 10 fully Masterworked item. I guess all I'm really saying with this is, don't overthink this, Bungie. You already had a system for infusion that works, and you've got a new system in Forsaken for masterworking items that creates a meaningful grind. I think just removing the cores as a requirement for infusion is all that really needs to happen here. And if you feel the same, it's important to put that information out there. So go on, share this video, make posts on the Bungie forums, the Destiny the Game subreddit, respond to the Destiny account over on Twitter, let them know. 
in a respectful manner how you feel about infusions, whether or not you want Master Workhorse to remain as a requirement for infusions or if you want to see them changed. Remember, your voice is important. Be sure that it's heard. But that's going to be it for this one, Guardians. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to leave me your thoughts on all of this down in the comment section below. If Bungie's going to be changing the names, what would you like to see Master Workhorse renamed to? Be sure to leave me your suggestions down in the comment section below. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to drop a like, make sure you subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest stuff we're putting out. But alright, that is going to be it for this one, Guardians. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, I am the Black Link. You Guardians, stay frosty.